Hello everyone, my name is Teo Salvador. Welcome back to another episode of Run 8. Today we are on the community server. We are here in Barstow. We've got Heavy Rescue running the trim train on the community server. And we also have Chris running an intermodal train today. If you would like to join us on the community server, all you have to do is join my Discord and request membership, and you can have fun with us. As you can see, we have a boatload of work that needs to get done in Barstow, and West Colton, and we also have a number of locals that currently need to be ran. So, there's currently an endless amount of work on the server. If you'd be interested in joining, we'd love to have you. Just join my Discord and request membership, that's all you gotta do. And, without further ado, let's get this show on the road. Today, we are going to be running the Boron Local. Um, somebody brought this very long train to a siding literally just outside of Boron. I'm not too sure who did it. I would have to look through Discord. Um, but we're going to be running this train today. We have a number of drop-offs here uh, at the Boron factory or industry. And we also have a couple pickups to do. Uh, so let's get this show on. I actually have not serviced Boron in Run 8 yet. So... Um, this is going to be a little interesting as we learn how Boron works. If we go flying just over here, and we have the industry here, which has a lot of space to it, as you can see. Um, we also have some factory switchers here. So, what I might do is... Uh, actually, I actually have to run the English of the train I have. I'm going to start up these locomotives here, and I'm going to pull the pickups out. Um, actually, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to do that. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to have enough space for that. Um... Ah, uh, yeah, I should do. So what I'm going to do, uh, just to start off so we can get the pickups out of the way, because uh, these freight cars here... Fr let, me, let me learn how to speak English. Uh, these freight cars here, GAL and STO, I think that's really all we have here, um, are ready to go to Barstow. Um, so we're going to put them on this track here, and then we're going to bring... Excuse me, we're going to bring the drop-offs in, and then the locomotives that have the drop-offs are going to... Um, take the pickups back to Barstow, and then we'll leave the switcher locomotives here for later. Now, uh, let's get this show on the road here. Uh, it is Tuesday. Hopefully everybody has had a good start to the week. Um, I actually, this is my first time playing Run 8. Um, I think since I did my CSX video over on the A-Line. Um, I decided I wanted to come back to California... Uh, partially because I haven't been on the server recently. Um, I mean, I haven't been on Run 8 at all in the last two weeks. I've been taking a little bit of a break because, you know, you play a lot of a game and then you start to get really bored of it. And so, to refresh myself, I decided to take a little break. I wasn't going to force myself to do anything. And here we are on the server, uh, doing some work. So, I'm, I'm kind of happy. All right, let's go flip the switch here. Um, oops, my bad. Sorry, Mateo's forgetting how this game works. I've been playing a lot of Trains Railroad Simulator 19, um, which is a pretty good train simulator. Um, you get to build your own maps. That's why I like that game a lot. And so that's what I've been doing recently. I've been building a map. Uh, that's, that used to be one of the things I loved about the Train Z games, um, is building maps. And, uh, yeah, I've been, I've been learning a lot of things about the game, and, uh, uh, Run 8 is definitely a lot more complicated than that game is. Um, but, uh, I, I don't know. I, I was thinking about live streaming, uh, you know, doing a live stream session of me. Oops, my goodness, that was, I, ooh. Man, that was a little, that, that was a little bit rough. I will say that from the cab, I could only see this freight car here. Um, I couldn't see this one, so I thought we had a little further to go, but it appears that's not the case. All right. All right, well, let's get these cars pulled out of here, and uh, we will get it into the far track over there so that we can bring the pickups in. And then we'll bring the pickups back to Barstow. Which, to be honest, I don't even know if I have space at Barstow for these pickups. Um, I might have to do some, uh, some magic and make some space. We have a new AI system on the server. Well, I, I say it's new, but we've had it for about a month now, I think. Uh, we've had it for a little bit now. 
basically we have random supply trains coming in um, instead of the pre-built ones. So um, if you've been if you've been watching the series uh, recently, we actually built uh, we built pre-built supply trains that have everything needed for locals, and that was getting a little bit old because it was kind of like point A, point B kind of work. You know what I mean? So we spawned in a supply train at, let's say, West Colton. And it was like, okay, take the supply train to Bakersfield, run the local, and then take the pickups to Bar uh, West Colton, you know, when it's done. And we kept doing this process. And it, it kind of gets old after a little while. And so with our new system, instead of having local specific supply trains, we now have supply trains that might have freight cars for five or six different locals that have to go to maybe two or three different yards, and then they have to be split into their individual locals. So one supply train might get split into three supply trains going to three different yards, then that train might get split into three different trains. And so this new supply train system that we have just makes it a lot more interesting. Um, it still needs a little bit more refining, um, but so far I think it's doing really good. Because previously, we didn't really have enough work on the server. Uh, at least that's what I felt. And I feel like right now, we have quite a lot of work to be doing on the server. And so, we're kind of having this, like, never-ending motion uh, with our new supply trains. I, I still need to do quite a bit um, refining to it. We have a couple bugs with our supply trains currently that I need to fix. Although, they're working pretty well considering. Uh, one thing I need to do is I, I need to make more variety of supply trains. Um, there was a report on the server a couple days ago that apparently a couple of the supply trains that were coming in were 100% identical. And um, obviously that's kind of counterproductive. Uh, that's kind of counterproductive because our reason for the, you know, the new random supply train system is to have a variety of trains coming in. And obviously, if all the, all the random supply trains coming in are completely identical, well, that's a little bit of a problem. Although, that was a little bit ago that somebody reported that, so maybe having two identical supply trains was just a coincidence? I don't really know. Either way, I'm going to be adding some more, uh, like, combinations to the supply trains. Because as of right now, um, when I make my supply trains, um, the new random ones, I select all the locals for a particular railroad. Um, so right now I have basically two different supply trains, um, one for Union Pacific and one for BNSF. Oh gosh, that looks a little dangerous. And so right now on the Union Pacific version of the random supply train, all of the Union Pacific locals are selected. Likewise for the BNSF, all the BNSF locals are selected. And so instead of having just a couple, you know, uh, so instead of having all of the Union Pacific locals selected, I might only select a few of them, and, you know, it, it'll, it'll allow for a little more variety. It'll allow for some of those locals to get a few more freight cars in them, because obviously, you know, fewer locals, you still have maybe the same length of the train. Fewer locals means that those locals get to have a couple more freight cars. Although as of right now, some of our uh, industries have a million freight cars that need to go to them, so... Um, I don't know if I need to do that yet. Uh, so what I might do is, I might do what I did with the A-Line. So I was working on random supply trains for the A-Line, and what I did is I took rows, right? So, um, this top row was all the locals selected for a random supply train, and then there was a second random supply train. These were all the locals that went to that second supply train. Then the third supply train, fourth, fifth, um, sixth, and seventh. You know, kind of like that. I don't know if any of that makes sense, but uh, I don't know. That's what I was thinking. It worked. I, it seems... I, I don't know, actually. I was going to say, well, it seems to be working on the A-line, but I only just did it. And obviously, I haven't been on Run 8 recently, so I, I haven't really tested it. Hopefully, it does work. One thing I will say is for certain is that um, building random supply trains for Southern California is a heck of a lot easier than uh, the A-line. I am thinking also about making a uh, Run 8 tutorial series. So if anybody would be interested on helping me with that, uh, feel free to join my Discord. I'm taking suggestions on what I should do with the first episode. Um, because I want to do like the basics of the basics. 
Um, and I, I guess I need input on how to make those episodes. So if you'd be interested on in giving input, do feel free to join my Discord, and that's where we're having our discussion. No idea when I'm going to do that, but it's a future plan. Okay, let's back the train into the far track there. Oh, my goodness. Okay. You know, I'm really hoping this train fits. Something tells me it's not going to. Not gonna lie, I kind of have hope that it just fits. But I, I, I really don't think it's going to. Alright, you know what? I have an idea. I'm going to send this train to Barstow. All right, I'm going to just put the brakes on here because we need to move. That was loud. Hold on. What? Sorry, I think I have my volume set too high. Uh, we need to move the supply train or the local over there um, out of the way because this train needs to go where that train is and that train needs to go where this train is. Um, so, yeah. All right, I'm going to... You just bring this train to a stop here. Let's not, like, absolutely ruin our brakes here, shall we? We're all good. We're all good. I think Chris just arrived to Barstow. Uh, he was taking... Where is he? Oh, I think this is him, right? Oh, no. Wait a minute. Uh, okay. We'll stop right there. Nice. Okay. Wheel slip. I probably shouldn't have done that. Okay. Whoops. Can 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 you not? What? The heck's going on? Do you see that? Why is the train jerking back and forth? Hold on. That was weird. Why was the train doing that? Oh, excuse me. Okay, that was weird. Sorry. I had to disconnect my controller since the last time we played. Uh, so maybe something's going on here. All right. I think everything's fine. Anyways, as I was saying, it looks like Chris is pulling into Barstow with the intermodal train uh, from... Where is he coming from, actually? Uh, oh, uh, Los Angeles. Cool. So uh, he, he's pulling the train into Barstow, and I want to say... I wonder where... Here, let's teleport to Heavy and see where he is. Ah, oopsies. <laughs> oopsies. Uh, this is something we've all done. This is literally something we've all done. See, this is why I say, don't be worried to make mistakes on the server. Because, like, something like this is literally something we've all done. And it's probably something we all still do. Um, <laughs> alright, there we go. I wonder what this is. Ah, oh, it's, wow, Arcal0041. Jeez. We have, like, a huge Arcal0041 train sitting right here. Uh, like, I mean, this, this, this Arcal0041 train literally spans from one end of the yard to the other and we have oopsies Ooh, i think the train oopsies i think the train corrupted um wait a minute there's the that one sorry mateo's a moron no train corrupted uh the train that has a split condition is right here which this might actually be a little funky to have to fix it this might be a little weird to have to fix because the hump is right there um, whatever. Whatever. It's okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, So anyways, as I was saying, um, we have a whole train of Arcal 0041 here. And at Victorville, which is where Arcal 0041 goes, um, we have a number of cars here that are ready to be ran to the Arcal 0041 local. Look at how many cars here we have. 
Wow. Um, so, you know, if you have uh, the Cajon sub, um, feel free to run this local. Anyways, let's continue running our Boron train. Um, all right, I'm going to take control of this unit, and I think everything should be ready to go. So I guess what I'll do here is I'll get the train moving slowly, and I'm going to ring up Auto and say, Hey, can I have the signal? He should give me the sig. Oh, wait, is... Uh, is is uh, auto active here? Um, yeah, uh, yeah, okay, so he's active. Why did um, auto root him into Barstow? If auto's active in Barstow, why did he root him into the, um, the service yard? Little bit weird, I don't know why, but that's okay. Well, we're going to move the train out of this siding so that we can get that train out of the way. This might be a very questionable maneuver I'm about to make, but it's okay. Man, this poor railroad crossing has been down since whoever parked this train here. <laughs> and finally, it gets to go up and the lights get to have a rest. There we go. They get to have a rest. They get to be arrested. No, I don't know where this is going. Never mind. All right, let's get the brakes on here, and we will start slowing the train down, which I'm actually curious about something. Are we going downhill? Yeah, we are going downhill in a 0 0.7 grade. That's not too bad. Um, should be okay. Like, I mean, we're not going... I mean, it's not like a 0 point... You know, it's not like we're going down a negative 0.25% grade or something like that. It, You know, it, it's not too bad, but all right. I'm going to... I'm just... I, Obviously, I lack the ability to speak English today, so I'm going to just keep stuttering. I'm going to get the dynamic brake going here just so that, you know, we can help stop the train. Do I have, by the way... Oops. Okay, that's working. Uh, do you mind? Train, thank you. Okay. I am going to AI this train and send him to Barstow. Um, okay, so there we go. All this should be just fine. I mean, we could honestly manually switch this train if we wanted to. Um, all right, that should be fine. Uh, let's see, if I AI this, this train should go to Barstow. Um, let me real quick update the thread. We have a new system for our locals. And to be honest with you, we haven't really created a, um, uh, a system of how to update threads and stuff like that. Guess it doesn't really matter as long as you say, hey, XYZ is done or XYZ is available. Anyways, this train has been AI'd and is going to be going to Barstow. Um, and that train is going to back up into here. I'm going to take control of this locomotive while we're at it. Um, and we're going to wait for this train to get out of the way. And there he goes. Well, that train's going to Barstow. I am going to uh, assign this block, destination block assigned, by double right-clicking on this. Which basically, when I tell Auto, hey, I want the signal, um, it's going to tell Auto, hey, I would like to go onto this track here. Which is why, oops, dang it. Um, bleh. There we go, let's try that again. <laughs> um, so basically, when I did that, it's going to say, hey, Auto... Um, I would like a specific destination. Uh, oops. I am at the control point. Oh, is it because I'm back? Is it because I'm backwards, dude? Is that... Is he unhappy with me? Call me at next control point. Bro, I'm at the next control point. I'm... Uh, whatever. Okay. Um... Wait a minute. What might not hurt? Hold on a second. Mateo messed up. Okay, there we go. I realized that the multiple unit connectors and everything had apparently been set. Uh, so that wasn't going to help anything. 
and if I go here and I tone up the dispatcher, I should be able to get a green light into the siding there. Um, auto should do it to me now. There we go. Yep. Roger that, BNSF 6887. There we go. And now he has rooted me into the boron siding there. Um, and so we're going to go into the siding and we will disconnect the front engines and shove this into the industry. So that's how we're going to do it. Um, I think a lot of stuff is getting done at Barstow. As you can see, uh, we have a, uh, a hump train currently working. Oh, man. I wonder if that train I set off is going to have space. It should do. It should do. If this train can get out of the way in time, which I don't think should be an issue. I mean, we've got quite a ways to go. All right. Uh, no, I didn't mean to do that. I, I, I just opened my video editor. I meant to open up Discord that's literally sitting right next to my video editor program. And instead of clicking Discord, I clicked the video editor program and the editor program decided to open up. No, VSDC video editor, that's not what I want. I gotta say, running long hood forward is definitely a different way to railroad. Interesting to think that in some railroads back in the day in like the 1970s, 60s, maybe even the 80s, they used to run like this. Basically, the story is, is that some railroads believe that this was safer for their crew um, instead of running short hood forward. And so a lot of the time they would run uh, long hood forward like this. Um, I'm going to guess they don't do that nowadays because of visibility. There's a heck of a lot more visibility looking out the front than there is out this side. I don't know. We're actually quite a ways away from the crossing. I'm not even too sure if we're in the siding yet. We should probably be in the siding by now, but I'm, I'm going to go a little bit further ahead. Actually, I think when the train was parked here earlier, um, the cars were over the side, uh, excuse me, over the street. So we're just going to keep going forward until we get to the end. And then we're going to take the head engines off and we're going to push this whole thing into boron. Shouldn't be too hard. I messed up this horn sequence really bad. Alright, I think this will do right about here, so I'm going to start putting on the brake here. Um, we do have a red light up just ahead, which obviously is to be expected. Um, we have a train coming, actually. Uh, he's currently at Barstow. And he's going to pit. I'm not too sure where that is. It's an intermodal. And, of course, we have the train that we set off to Barstow. It's, wow, it's 4,000 feet long. Wow. That's longer than I thought it was going to be. All right, let's see if we're in the siding here. Yeah, we're definitely in the siding. Not. There. I think that should do right there. We can start putting on the brake, and we can disconnect the front power. Oh, gosh. I think we're fine. Pink! Oh, wow. Oh, jeez. That was violent. Did you see that? Wow. Okay. All right, let's disconnect this here. Uh, uh, that's not what I meant to do. That's not what I meant to do. Oh, stop. <laughs> that's not what I meant to do. What I meant to do is close that, close that, disconnect that, and then open that. There we go. That's what I needed to do. And we're going to reverse this a little further um, because these engines aren't going to come with us. Hopefully, this train has enough power to pull this. These rear engines were kind of helping. Although, it looks like it's pulling it just fine. I mean... You can't really see anything from here. I'm going three miles, two miles an hour right now. Oh, gosh. No, why would you do that? No, stupid. No, I don't want to bring those engines with us. Thank you. Okay, that's what I needed to do. There we go. Perfect. Now, pull, put, 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 put. There we go. See? That's what I need to have happen. <laughs> Heavy says, what in the world is happening here? Um, attempting, I'm, uh, let, let me see if I can answer him. Attempting to uh, service the Boron local. It's a little weird. <laughs> I, uh, I, I guess he's done uh, working at Barstow. He's just... Heavy is just flying around watching me do this whole thing. If you're new to the channel, you're, you, you probably haven't seen half of the crazy shenanigans um, that I've managed to get into. I recommend watching like the last 13 episodes of the series. What episode is this? Isn't this episode 13? I think it is. 
If not, just watch since the first episode, and you'll notice that weird ways to run locals is how we run on this channel, you know? All right, here we go. Shablam! <laughs> All right, let's push this in now. Um, if the train could stop, that'd be really awesome. Hink! Okay, that's good. Oh, man. Jeez, that's violent. See, that right there is how you break couplers. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, let's, uh, okay. Sorry, Mateo's learning how to drive this. So, oops. So, since I'm running long hood forward, my controls are reversed right now. Um, so whereas when you're running short hood forward, you would obviously be reversing if you're going to push the train. But since we're running long hood forward, I have to push the train forward, and my reverser has to be forward, which is a little disorienting. All right, well, I'm, I'm over here flipping switches. Um, I guess what we'll do is we'll just start filling in one track at a time. If we look at the industry tags, um, as you can see, all of these, uh, all of these tracks here um, go to the industry. So we could park cars in the far left. We could park it in the middle. The industry will still service them. So I, I guess we'll just, just start parking them that way. Not going to lie, I was a little concerned that these three engines would be struggling. Um, but we're actually speeding right now. We're going 25 miles an hour. For some reason, the speed limit through here is 30 miles an hour. I have no idea why it's so fast. It, I, I would say that 15 miles an hour should be the speed limit on this track. Weird. This does not sound healthy. One day we will get there as I hold on to this grain car here. All right, well, here we go. I meant to go in the far right track, but apparently I'm going to the middle one. I guess that's okay. Um, I, I must have flipped that switch right there. Yeah, isn't that what happened? I, I don't remember. I Yeah, okay, well, whatever. All right, well, here we go. We're servicing the industry. Uh, we're just going to put all the cars we can in each track. And then, um, yeah, we got a lot of stuff here. I'm not going to bother sorting everything. I was thinking about maybe doing some switching and sorting the box cars and everything like that, but I... I feel like that's a little too tedious, um, and it, it's fine. As you can see, um, some of the cars here are a little sporadic. We have grain cars, we have box cars, tankers, and then we have a box car, grain cars, another box car, more tankers. Um, not that it's a really huge deal. My OCD would say um, sort all the grain cars out into you know one line, and then we sort the box cars into one line, and then we have the tankers. Um, I'm gonna guess that this train was humped and then immediately put into its local, which means that, um, uh, uh, it wasn't sorted into individual cars, so it was just kind of sporadically put together, which is fine. Um, my OCD just is like, no, sort these, but it's okay, I don't care. I mean, I guess I do care, but not enough to actually want to do anything about it. All right. Oop. There we go. Okay, and that should be fine right there. Let's just disconnect this. Block your... Okay, and close that. And, of course, we have to do the classic. Let's go forward a little bit so that we can disconnect this because the coupler is stretched, and that means that we can't uncouple this. We got one box car left. Where should I put this next string? All right, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this next string in this uh, this track right here. And then we'll just fill up these other two tracks, if any of that makes sense. All right, so that's been disconnected. I, all right, I'm going to flip that one. There we go. Boom. And let's shove the, you know, put them in there. Ah. You know, I realized I really wasn't paying attention when I stopped these, was I? These, uh, these two tankers right here aren't going to be serviced because they're not in the industry. Um, what I should have done was taking these four uh, tankers with me and shoved them with the rest of this. Obviously, I... Oh, stop, let me bite my tongue real quick. Obviously, I didn't do that. Um, well, let's just continue working here, uh, shoving these into the tra their designated tracks. Um, and if we don't have enough space on the tracks that we're already using, um, we'll pull these four tankers out and shove them into these other two tracks. I might still do that. Well, I'm gonna still- I'm gonna do that anyways. That's fine. Whatever.
Hank. Nope, nope, nope. Ooh, yeah. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay. Whoopsies. Eesh. Yep, I obviously underestimated when to put the brake on right then. Okay, well, we're shoving these freight cars into the next track, and I'm thinking these might just fit. Hopefully they do. Um, if not, that's not a terrible problem to have. We'll pull whatever doesn't fit out, and we'll shove, um, excuse me, we'll collect those three tankers there, and we'll shove them into this last track. Yeah, it looks like it's going to fit, so this is actually pretty good. Well, it looks like it fits, so uh, let's put on the brake here. Can we see the rest of the train from the side here? I think we can do if we open up the window. There we go, look at that, we fit. That, what is that over there? Hold up one second. What the heck is this? Oh, <laughs> from right here, it looks like there's like a collapsed building or something. It's just like a, an elevator of some sort. Okay, that's cool. All right, well, let's disconnect this here and uh, we will, uh, we will collect these three uh, tankers here, and I'm just going to shove them over here for now so they get serviced. Um, all right. Uh, what should I do? I got I to gotta disconnect these. Sorry, Mateus. Learning how to play run eight. Shablam. There we go. Uh, let's pull the train forward just a hair so that we can disconnect this. There we go. You know what? I'm going to take all four of these tankers. Um, let's close that. Okay, no no errors in the pipe, so that was pretty easy. All right, open up that coupler. Uh, we still got to fill up these. Oh, I said four. I mean, excuse me. I'm going to take all five of these, uh, these tankers here. There we go. Open that up, and that's going to fill up. And then once it gets to 50, there we go. We can open that up and pull these out. There we go. I'm really losing my voice for some reason. I don't know why. All right, so that is the Boron Local Service. We have one more thing we got to do, and then uh, that'll be the end of this episode. If you'd like to see more on the community server, do let me know. Those three SD40s are currently going 40 miles an hour down the main... Oh, look at that guy. That's that, uh, that's that intermodal train I was talking about. Wow, look at that. that I got to say, that looked pretty epic. From over here, that looks amazing. Wow, look at that guy. Let's just fly over here and see what this guy's doing. Check that out. Nice. Woo, more of this long hood forward business. You know what I'm going to do? I have an idea. I'm going to do something. Um, yeah, here's what I'm going to do real quick. I'm going to flip this train around. All right, I'm going to pull this forward. And we're going to do we're going to do some puzzling with this locomotive here so that we're not running long hood forward uh, back to Barstow. Um, I'm, oh, my defect detector. That's probably for that, uh, ooh, let me pull forward just a hair more. That's probably for that, uh, intermodal train over there. There we go. And we'll just leave this right here for now. I'm just gonna disconnect this real quick. And we're gonna back up this light engine here. It, it'll all come together in just a second. So basically what I'm gonna do 
is I'm gonna shove this light engine into this track and I'm going to pull these two locomotives forward and couple this engine on the back of this uh, the back of this locomotive. So now we'll be running short hood forward and it should make things a little bit easier on the way back to Barstow. Okay, now we're going to take these two locomotives here. Um, let's see, I need to... Oh, why, why is that not the lead unit? That should be the lead unit. There we go. And if I do that, there we go. All right. Why does that guy have his front lights on? Short hood trail. It should be long hood trail. There we go. Long hood trail so that the, those lights are on instead. Okay, there we go. Might as well show me monkey around with these switching operations here. Which I got to say, look at that locomotive right there. This is an amazing shot right here. That looks really good. Maybe that should be my thumbnail. No, it's not going to be my thumbnail. I think I already chose what my thumbnail is for this video. Uh, oh, man, I jumped the switch. I jumped the switch. Okay, and let's go back to the main line and get those uh, Santa Fe locomotives hooked up, and then we'll take it all back to Barstow so that it can be used either in trimming or in the hump yard or to run another local entirely. It's, it's not that it's bad to have long hood forward. This just makes it a little more convenient. Obviously, if you're on the server and you build a train that so happens to have a unit that's long hood forward, absolutely nothing wrong with that. Woo, we finally make it back to the main line. Check that out. Uh, it doesn't look like we have any trains coming either. Um, uh, you know, it, it, everything is empty other than these three SD40s we have here. Coming. Except for this one, which is... What's S? Uh, that might be an intermodal of some sort. And, oh, we actually have another train coming. Yeah, we do. Okay. Um, it's a unit train. And we also have the train that we set off earlier. It's going to be arriving at Barstow. Any Barstow? Barstow any minute now um, so that sh should be fun actually you know what how about we go check it out uh, before we end the episode and one thing I'm going to do just so that these engines are out of the way uh, because I might bring these back to Barstow a little later uh, we're just going to put them in the siding so that they're out my god that's loud we're going to put them in the siding just so that they're out of the way for later um, and I realize I'm in notch 1 I should have been in notch 0 alright there we go let's just leave those right there and we will take these locomotives here and um, shove them with the rest of those SD40s there, which will eventually go back to Barstow. And then we'll take a look at the train that we set off earlier with the pickups, and that will be the end of the episode. I want to say Chris is still on the server. Heavy had to leave, um, but Chris is on the server, and he's currently running the Barstow hump, so that's pretty cool. I think he's just kind of monitoring it to make sure that nothing overflows, which is very good. Um, we do say on the server that if you're going to be operating the hump, you need to be monitoring it as um, sometimes the bowl will fill up. And if the bowl fills up, sometimes you'll run into some problems. Um, so, so, yeah, he's doing that over there, which is nice. And, all right, let's just carefully push this in here. Let's not damage any million-dollar locomotives, shall we? All right. Hink. Oh, wow, really? That doesn't connect. That doesn't connect. All right. Hold on. Just a little bit further. There we go. Let's just shove these units further into the siding so that we're out of the way for any through traffic. That way, the track is open to mainline traffic. And let's take a look at the locomotive that we sent off earlier. There he is right there. He's, uh, he's coming into Barstow. Nice. How about we watch him at this railroad crossing here? Let's do some uh, some rail fanning, shall we?
Blah. I ruined the shot with the player tags. My bad. Oopsies. That's okay, though. I well, just wasn't too bad. It's just having those player tags kind of took away from the ambi- Um, not the ambiance. The, uh, la -la -la, what's the term I'm looking for? Um, immersion. There you go. That's the term I was looking for. Well, there's that train coming in. It's a pretty good-sized train. And, uh, it's going to be going into the hump yard here. Which, as of right now, we have a couple tracks that are cleared out. We have, uh, this track, this track... So one, two, three, almost about four tracks that are cleared um, that can be used for traffic that is going to be entering Barstow. So, uh, yeah, that's very, very good here. As you can see, we got a train currently being humped. Um, yeah, very good. Look at how busy this place is. Gosh, I got to say, this makes me really happy. Um, uh, ooh, for some reason, my re my my recording software is in full screen. Why is that? That's really weird. Um, so, uh, yeah, I got to say, this makes me really happy to see a yard like this so busy. It's surprising how on a multiplayer server, things like this just kind of happen, you know? Where, like, people are doing things, yards are filling up with cargo, people are getting work done. It, it, it's kind of a cool sight to see, I got to say. Because um, you sometimes see this in single player, right? But, like, it's kind of weird when it happens in multiplayer. I don't know. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so so things are getting done. Obviously, if you'd like to be a part of the server, like I say, just join the Discord server and request membership. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of Run 8. If you'd like to see more, you want to watch more of the community server, make sure to give it a like and subscribe. And uh, I will be back in the next episode with something new. Uh, so yeah, with that said, thank you for watching. B has joined the server. Welcome. Hi. Hey. Uh, <laughs> hey. Hello. Anyways, that's gonna do it. Look at that. That's gonna do it. Thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Later. Peace. Join the fun. Join the Discord. Join the server. That was really weird. I'll see everybody in the next episode. Bye-bye.